ancestral stone houses, major roads, and prominent churches. These are just a few of the structures damaged by twin earthquakes that rocked Iqbayan Batanes last Saturday. A 5.4 magnitude earthquake struck the area past 4 in the morning, followed by a stronger magnitude 5.9 tremor a few hours later. More than 200 aftershocks have been felt in Batanes since Saturday. At least nine people were killed in the quakes. According to the NDRRMC, about 47 million pesos is needed to repair or rebuild all the damaged structures in the province. The FIVOX cautions residents against using limestone to build houses. Yung mga lumang mga bahay na yari sa limestone o simbahan, yung kampanaryo na simbahan na yari sa limestone ay mukhang okay. Pero habang tumatagal, yung uh, uh, tinatawag nating limestone ang nga ay naagnas at uh, ito yung sanhi ng pagkamatay at pagkasugat ng mga tao. President Rodrigo Duterte conducted an aerial inspection on Sunday. During the briefing, the president pledged 40 million pesos for the rebuilding of hospitals in the area. He also ordered the Philippine Coast Guard to monitor the whole island, especially now with the present territorial dispute with China. The chief executive also plans to extend the runways in the ports of Batanes to make the delivery of relief goods easier and also for security reasons. The MVP group of companies also provided assistance to the victims of the earthquake. They distributed tents, medical supplies and relief goods. Following this incident, the Interior Department and FIVOX encouraged the local government to ensure that the building code is strictly followed in the province. So when it's a building code, uh... Kung gusto pa nilang maritain yung parang look ng, ano, ng mga old houses, ay eh dapat uh, masiguradong yung mga bato ay eh, hindi lang biglang mahuhulog habang lumilindol. Kasi yun yung nakamatay. For News 5, Maricel Halili, we are One News. Batanes has been placed under a state of calamity by the Provincial Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office.